Well, what is going on, happy people? I'm backing out of my mom and dad's yard right now, and I'm heading to the house to edit, but I want to tell you today's video is gonna be a lot of fun. We're going over to Paul Kfar's house, and we're moving his gigantic bass into my pond. Then we're gonna go pull the crab traps. Then we're gonna be cooking crabs over an open fire and eating them on a picnic table. That, to me, is what life is all about. Just literally flying by the seat of your pants and having a great time. But I also got a cool announcement. There are five days left on this sweepstakes to win a vacation to the Exuma Keys on Staniel Air. Um, Kevin Doyle just called me about it. He said, hey, let your people know all you've got to do. There's a link in the description below. Literally, just go fill it out. You'll be in the sweepstakes. It's randomly chosen by the computer, so everybody has the same amount of chance to win. And I promise you, there's nothing more beautiful in the world than flying into the Exumas. Someone's going to be doing it for free. So go check that out. But now let's get on to the video. The first thing we're doing, we're going over to Paul Kafar's house and we're gonna get this big old giant bass. So we're here to rescue the giant bass from this knucklehead right here. Holy crap, everyone's here. What up, guys? How's it going? Jordan. Hi. What's up, Paul? What's up? This is Stanley What's from uh, nice Frog Dogs. Look at Stanley. You guys ready? Yeah. We can walk around this back side here. Did you just say Stanley? So what's the scoop? What, what's going on? We got the whole squad rolling in here. And uh, what we're doing today is bringing Thump to your house. Now that you've got the filtration system for him, because my pond's like uh, green as it gets right now. Hey, we, can, right. we can try and catch him. <laughs> you want to try and catch him? <laughs> there he is. Yeah, you got it. Ready? Let me see. Whoa. Hey! <laughs> oh, they got a bat. Oh my god. Oh, Thump, what are you doing? Hold on, let me get up before you take her off. Yeah, he's a big fish. Have you seen a fish like that? Okay, now we gotta get some air in them and off to the other pond we go. It's going, it's going. Alright. We're out of here. Let's go to the house. Oh, you guys okay. made it nice. Oh, dude, he might mess with those babies. Literally. Those baby bass in there. You got a gar. Look, at, dude, you can see how the algae grew already. Like, everything is perfect. That is a huge fish just to, like, I don't have a bag that would even fit that. So we're just going to do it the way we can do it. Pick them up and put them in. Oh, yeah. Literally the same water temperature. He is huge. Get used to it, big girl. Thump. There she goes. Good? Look at that. That's a, that is awesome. You gotta get a GoPro in there. All my bass have just been loving life. Like, yeah, this is a cool place to live. We got tons of fish. Now we put that gargantuan in there. They're like, okay. New dynamic. Now we have to watch out for own safety. Look at that. Gosh, she's so big. Because I haven't seen her in a while. Like, I've been feeding her, but it's the green water, so. It's spawning season right now. Oh my goodness. And those are males, and she's a huge fat female. Yeah. We might have babies, ladies and gentlemen. So Thump's favorite thing to eat, if you're going fish-wise, tilapia. She loves tilapia. Second thing, if you can catch them, just a regular Florida lizard. Just one of those lizards, not sure the exact name, but throw a lizard in there, and do, it's, especially in this clear water like this, throw that in, and you can just watch her rise her eyeballs and rise her head and just come straight up and just twink, take her down. Look at the size difference. All right, you guys, so we just got done transporting Thump. Now, we're gonna go pull some crab traps and then we're cooking crabs for dinner because that's just the way we roll around here. Deer meat for dinner land. If you have not already, check out Paul Cafaro. I know thousands of you have gone over and subscribed since our first video, which is awesome. This kid's doing a great job with his channel and a great job with YouTube. All right, you guys. So Thump seems to be happy as a pig in mud. 
and uh, we're gonna be feeding him all kinds of cool fish, doing some really fun stuff with him while we've got him. But now, it's time to go pull some crab traps. They've been soaking for about eight days, and I'm thinking we're gonna have some crabs, y'all. What we got, Stacy? What do you think? Stacy Frog Dog, I'm Come gonna on. go with four. I see, ooh, I think you're, Let's see, I think they're light. I think there's about a dozen, half a dozen. Let's go half a dozen. Oh yeah, baby. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven big daddies. Have you ever done this before? No, I never have. Really? You're looking like there's a big oh, one in there. One. There's a giant in there. We gonna need a bigger cooler box. Three crab. Three crab and three sheep's head. This was just let's go pull the traps and figure out what we're gonna do today. Well, it's turning into let's go pull the traps and we're gonna have a crab feast. What do you see? Where's Jordy? Where's Jordy, Aria? He's right there, holding the camera. Say hi, everybody. We said we need a bigger cooler. Let him go. He can't fight you. There's another one escaping. Oh, there he goes. There's two of them. Watch, another one's coming out. Another one's coming out. We got more problem, guys. We need to slow down, guys. Okay, wait. Let's hold on. Watch your toe. I don't want you to get pinched. All right. All right, you guys. So we have literally filled the cooler full of crabs. Unbelievable. All right, everybody, we got the crabs. Now we gotta cook them, but first we gotta make a fire because we're cooking these crabs over an open fire. Something you could do out on a sandbar or in the woods, wherever. See that? A lot of you guys already know what that is. That's fat pine, light or not. Fat lighter, that is this core of a large pine tree. Typically they get killed by lightning and that's the core. Super, super hard and you're gonna be amazed when you see how easy it catches on fire. First, you gotta split it. That worked out pretty good. All you're left with is that beautiful wood. See that? That will catch on fire, super easy. This is just a log that I already had a fire going on Here's some of the little, just little baby chips. Hang them out here. About like that. Essentially, you're making yourself a little teepee. And all you're gonna need to start this is a, is a match. Or a lighter. You can see with this lighter knot, you can see that resin, the sap, boiling up. That becomes very flammable. All right, so this is all we've got to do to cook our crabs over an open fire. This little can cooker. They have a steaming rack that goes in this, but I left it at home. So I'm gonna use a little steamer, just like that. I got just some water in here. All we're gonna need is one bottle of water. Crabs are so much better when you add just a little bit of white vinegar. That ought to be enough. And we're using Everglades heat. A lot of people like to steam their crabs first. I believe it's very, it's the quickest, humanest way in the world to dispatch your crab is just to pop the top right off. Done. These are beautiful crabs. Let me just set them right in there. Big old pile of beautiful blue crabs. We're just gonna season them up with some Everglades heat. 
Yeah. All right, so our fire's going nice and good. We're just gonna get this all over here, just like that. Many, many people said you could never cook over a light or not fire, but I'm here to tell you, you can. Alrighty y'all, that's that. What I try to do is, I've been moving this thing so that it's not directly sitting on top of the heat. And uh, been cooking now for, I don't know, 10, 15 minutes. Let's go see what we got. Make sure you're wearing something to protect your hand from the heat, because this sucker will get hot. Look how pretty them rascals are. Oh my gosh. Yeah. Sign me up for about two dozen of them. That's your lump. To me, that right there is the single best piece of meat on a crab. Dip it in a little butter, and then you eat it right off. So it really doesn't matter how you eat your crabs. It doesn't even matter if you like crabbing. Just about enjoying your day. And I hope each and every one of you are having an absolutely fantastic day. I know I am. I really appreciate each and every one of you being a part of my channel and a part of my life. I'm gonna finish up here at camp, clean up the place, and then head home to spend the rest of the day with uh, Sarah, Maria, and Emma. Love you guys. Take care, God bless, we gone.